it snowed um, and it snowed a lot. Like, check this out. This is actually one of the first big snowfalls we've had in the city this year. And unlike a lot of people that spent a lot of today driving into ditches, I actually put my snow tires on last week, so I'm good to go. Uh, the great thing about these conditions as well is fresh snow on the ground early in the year means the lakes are still open. It hasn't been cold enough for long enough for them to freeze, so it is prime photography conditions. It's probably only going to last a few days, so tomorrow morning I'm going to get up early and get into the mountains. I mean, come on, have we even been on a road trip if you don't get a Tim Hortons for breakfast? First stop off today is Lake Louise and it is a balmy minus 15 this morning. So as I mentioned before, it's that time of year where we've got fresh snow all over the trees and this open lake for good reflections. One of the reasons I chose to come here was because I wasn't entirely sure what the weather was gonna do. And the good thing about Lake Louise is you have this little hut you can just see behind me here. That's where you rent canoes during the summer. But the good thing about that is during blue hour, because the lights are on in that hut, it reflects into the lake and you can get some really nice shots kind of closer up, even if there's no light or uh, you know it's completely overcast. Unfortunately this morning I was a bit disorganised and I didn't really get here quite for blue hour so I did take a few snaps but I kind of missed maybe optimal conditions but I will show you some pictures that I've taken previously in that blue hour and um, it's just kind of a given that you're going to get shots here even if there's not a great sunrise. Here are some shots from a different morning when I arrived a little earlier. You can see how nicely the light from the hut reflects in the lake and the blue tones mirror the cold atmosphere. However, the images from this morning also turned out better than expected. Although the reflection isn't as prominent, the contrast between the warm colours of the hut and the blue tones in the trees work beautifully. Super unusual conditions this morning at Lake Louise. Like, look at this mist that's just kind of sat on the lake here. I don't think I've actually ever seen it like this. So it's pretty cool to take it in. I'm gonna kind of run around the lake and grab a bunch of different compositions. Um, it's pretty busy here actually for a kind of minus 15 morning. There's a fair few photographers around, but I mean, you can't beat fresh snow, open lakes and mist. So Lake Louise is definitely a sunrise location. And one of the nice things about Lake Louise is you're not really relying on having kind of nice colourful cloud above the mountains. The sun actually rises behind the hotel, just behind the lake, or opposite the lake, and then it casts a really nice golden light all across the mountains and onto Victoria Glacier at the back there. So clear days, you can get great images as well. Like obviously a nice little bit of cloud helps, but even on those bright blue bird days, you can still get really nice light cast on the mountains just over here. So I'm going to try one more composition out here. It's a bit of a generic one, but I'll kind of show you what I'm trying to do. Now I'm not really sure how much you can see from this, but I've just found this kind of interesting branch just down the front here. It's just got a bit of fresh snow on it as well, so I've just popped that in the foreground, and then I've got the mist and then the mountains in the background. It's a bit of a classic composition for Lake Louise, but I feel like you have to get it whilst you're here. Uh, there is a bit of a log just on the left-hand side you might be able to see. 
Um, that's a bit distracting, so I'm probably going to Photoshop that out. But I'll focus stack this together, um, and then hopefully it will turn out all right, and I'll show you the results. Even though the composition isn't overly original, the incredible conditions really do make this shot. So I think with that last composition, ideally I would have used a longer shutter speed. Unfortunately, I'm a relatively unprepared photographer um, and I didn't bring any filters with me, so no neutral densities or polarizers, unfortunately, so I can't extend that shutter speed. Um, that would have just smoothed out the reflection a little bit, but it's still pretty hard to take a bad picture at Lake Louise. It can be difficult to get kind of any unique shots here at Lake Louise, I suppose. It is one of the most photographed lakes in the Canadian Rockies, if not in the world. Um, so what I've decided to do is get out my long lens and you can see this kind of nice light just here that's hitting Fairview Mountain behind me. Um, I'm gonna get out my 70 to 200 and try and kind of crop in and get some more unique shots if I can. Look at this really cool way the sun is just piercing through the trees and picking up on the mist just along the lake here. Um, might grab a couple of shots of the hut in the background of that just because I've never seen it like that before. Photography can always take you by surprise and opportunities reveal themselves as the light changes throughout the day. This image, although really just a simple, quick, handheld shot, ended up being one of my favourites from the morning. I have uh, momentarily uh, retreated to the car. You kind of forget how brutally cold it can get here in the Rockies. About minus 15 this morning, I think, and I've kind of lost feeling in my toes. It's killing batteries, especially in the microphone. But now I think I'm going to go and scope out Peto Lake. Obviously, the sun's come up now, so the light's not going to be great, but it is always good to see Peto when it's got the fresh snow and all the trees around it and the lake's not frozen. So we'll go up and have a look and maybe I'll come back tomorrow morning, but if not, we'll grab some snaps now. But let's go. tell conditions are pretty prime here at Peto Lake. You can see there's plenty of snow on the trees behind me. Weirdly I was just down at that kind of new viewing platform that they've built and I've just realized that it's actually terrible for tripods. The holes in the floor are big enough for your tripod legs to fall through which is a bit of a shame but even though it's the quiet time of year as well there is a fair few people down there so I've decided to kind of walk on around the side here see if I can get a little spot to myself and maybe grab a couple of shots. It is kind of later in the day, the light's harsh, so I'll see what happens. I think for me, it's not worth me coming back tomorrow morning. I think it's gonna be pretty thick cloud, and I have got some shots here before in kind of perfect conditions, um, and I'll pop those up for you on the screen in a second. trying to do now as I walk past all of these trees is just find a spot where I can actually see the lake and then I'm hoping I can use the branches in the snow as a bit of a, a natural frame. Uh, I haven't found a spot like that quite yet but I know kind of further down I have got similar things in summer so I'm going to see if I can grab that. Now as stunning as it is I don't think my visit to Peto Lake has been particularly fruitful this morning. Um, I mean, I'm very lucky as a photographer and I live about an hour away from the Canadian Rockies. So I visit locations like this 
all of the time. And I know I've got good shots of Pato Lake in my portfolio already. So I think in a way I've started to take locations like this for granted a little bit. You know, I could hunt around and really find some really good new compositions or try some long exposures and pop on some filters and probably get some good results. But because I know I've been here before with the fresh snow at a sunrise with better light and have images from that already, I'm not necessarily as inspired to, which to be honest with you, is probably an attitude I need to change and I need to reinvigorate myself with some new locations. Tomorrow morning, I'm gonna go and shoot somewhere still pretty local and easy to get to, but somewhere that I haven't really shot many times before. So I'm excited to do that. And what I'll do, if I've got anything good, I'll show you those images from Peito, but join me for tomorrow morning at Quarry Lake. When I looked back at some of the images from the day, I was actually pretty happy with the results. Although I do have to give most credit to Mother Nature. The conditions simply lent themselves to great photography. It's tomorrow. Well, I suppose now it's today, but yesterday, this is, this is the tomorrow I was talking about. I'm down at Quarry Lake, hoping to get some good light on Harling Peak and East End of Rundle behind me here. Like I've mentioned, I've only really shot here like once before. And I really wanted to get here during autumn, but unfortunately didn't get here in time. You do get beautiful yellow trees kind of all around the water's edge. Again, I'm kicking myself for not bringing any filters. There's a little bit of a rippling to the lake and it would have really been good to smooth that out. But as the sun comes up, we'll see if we get anything good. It's a nice little edge of ice kind of around the edge of the lake. So we'll see what happens and see if I can get anything this morning. You can see behind me that the sunrise is really coming in and the clouds kind of kicking off and catching that golden light. Unfortunately, probably not the best location for that light. I'm really hoping that at some point the sun comes up, finds a little gap in the clouds and actually starts casting light over Harling Peak and the east end of Rundle just behind me. And then hopefully I'll get some nice reflections and some good light in the lake. You might just be able to see that that sun has kind of just come up over the horizon and started to catch some of the peaks behind me. Uh, at first I've just kind of gone for a relatively generic composition in all honesty. It's just a landscape shot, getting in the reflection of kind of Harling Peak and everything to the left. It has got a nice little bit of ice in the foreground. Unfortunately, that ice and the snow near the front does have a few footprints in it. As a photographer, I think you learn kind of not to stand in the foreground too early on, so you don't ruin it. But I mean, this lake's used by like dog walkers and just general visitors, so I'll do my best to maybe Photoshop that out. But I'm going to take this one and then I'm going to try and find a couple of other compositions. If this one turns out any good, I'll show you now. So I think I'm going to call it a day there. I think the best light from this morning is already gone. And as it warms up a little bit, we're probably going to start getting more ripples in that lake and lose the reflection anyway. I think over the last couple of days, I haven't necessarily got any portfolio shots, like it's not my best work, but it's been a great couple of days exploring in the mountains and seeing the landscape having been completely transformed by the fresh snow. Uh, I'm really looking forward to getting out there more over the next few months, so if you want to see some of the results of that and get some inspiration of where to go yourself, then please do subscribe. I'll see you on the next one.